In today's video, we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Anchor Solix F3800, as well as the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. These are two amazing power stations for a whole home backup situation, but each of these shines in different areas. So let's get right into the specifics. So for starters, the shape of these units is quite different. The Anchor has kind of a suitcase design, so it's about 28 inches tall and 15 inches wide and front to back, whereas the Delta Pro 3 is more elongated and shorter. And it's about 28 inches from front to back and 16 inches wide. So depending on where you're gonna be putting these power stations, that might dictate which one of these might be a better fit for you. Now, in terms of the capacity of these units, the Anchor has a whopping 6,000 watt inverter, meaning if you're using this for something like a well pump or things that require a significant amount of amps and then it slowly goes back down, this definitely wins in that category with a 6,000 watt inverter, whereas the Delta Pro 3 has a 4,000 watt inverter. But in terms of capacity, the Anchor is a 3,840 watt hour battery, whereas the Delta Pro 3 is a 4,096 watt hour system. So it definitely beats it in that respect. Now, both of these systems have a handle where you can kind of position the weight. In my personal opinion, the DP3 is more comfortable you notice that it dragged a little bit more rocks because the ground clearance is a little bit lower. But in terms of weight distribution, I like the way that the DP3 handles more so than the anchor. But then again, if you're not moving it a lot, it's not really going to matter. Now, while we're on this subject, the weight is pretty drastic here. The EcoFlow comes in at 115 pounds, whereas the anchor is at 132 pounds. We have over 15 pounds of additional weight with the anchor. So if you're trying to bring this in a basement, um, that can definitely make a difference. They're both heavy, but the EcoFlow is definitely a little bit lighter than the Anchor. Now let's talk just a moment about looks here. The EcoFlow definitely wins in this category. It has a really sleek look, and I wanna show you something else in later on in this video that's also really cool that kind of is a companion of the DP3, whereas the Anchor, it just kind of is boxy, and I don't really care for the looks of it personally. So in terms of looks, I really like the EcoFlow, the design, how sleek it is, and I really like the display. I wanna talk about that for a second as well. One thing I dislike about the Anchor is that you feel I feel like you have to hold that power button for an eternity before the display comes on. So that's definitely a flaw of the Anchor. Whereas the DP3, you hold it for like three seconds and it comes on, has a nice little chime, and I really like that. Now let's talk about price real quick. So the Anchor Solix comes in at about 3100 and the Delta Pro 3 comes in about $27, $27.99. Both of these will go on sale from time to time, so you can expect to get them a little bit cheaper. So um, the price is pretty comparable between the two. The EcoFlow wins in that category by a little bit. And in terms of warranty, they both come with a great warranty of five years. Um, customer service wise, I haven't had a single issue with EcoFlow. I haven't really had any issues with both of these power stations as I haven't had them for that long, but I've had a ton of EcoFlow products and I haven't had a single problem with them. I think they're designed very well and I just can't say the same about Anchor. Not saying that they have bad customer service, but I just don't have the experience with Anchor to know that. So one significant difference between the EcoFlow and the Anchor is the use of single phase and split phase simultaneously. What that means is you can use the 240 volt plug as well as 110 plugs simultaneously on the Anchor. However, on the Delta Pro 3, you can only do one or the other. Now, this isn't a huge deal for me because I'm gonna be using this as a whole home backup system. So all I need is 240 volts to this plug. As soon as I get 240 volts to my main panel, I can then disperse that electricity to any 110 volt appliance or plug in my home, no problem. But if you're using this in an application where you need to use a 220 volt item like a welder and a 110 volt item simultaneously, you can't really do this with a Delta Pro 3, whereas you can do it with the Anchor Solix. Now let's talk about the outlets for a moment on both of these power stations. So these both have a standard 30 amp outlet that is perfect for campers. So with RVs, you can plug it right into the power station and that makes it really convenient. 
And both of these also have the four prong 240 volt standard um, connection. That's going to give power to your power inlet box if you have it wired that way. So you can get whole home power to your home in the event of an emergency power outage. Now, in terms of solar, these both have a large capacity for solar. The Anchor has these specialty adapters that you plug in and then you can plug it into a standard solar input, whereas the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 has their standard um, solar input connection like this. And I've had really good success with their PV350 solar panels. They're foldable, they're really easy to use, and they charge really nicely. Um, so both of these are comparable in that respect, in my opinion, some might prefer one over the other, but I think they're both great. Now, one thing that is super cool about the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is that you can pair it with a smart generator and you just have a cord that runs into the back of the Delta Pro 3 and you can set the threshold. So as soon as it reaches say 30% battery capacity, the generator automatically kicks on even if you're not at home or if you're asleep and it will recharge the battery with gasoline or propane. It's a dual fuel generator and then it will kick off once your battery is charged and it will cycle on and off. So that is a super awesome feature and I was really excited to test this out. Okay, so I wanted to show you how easy this is to use and hook up to my power inlet box. So we just powered on our power station and um, everything up until this breaker here, and I'll show you how all of this works, is nothing is going to be fed in until we switch this breaker over. So we're gonna take the female end right here. This is that same uh, four prong. I'm just gonna twist it onto our power inlet box. And then this male end will never be live because our breaker where this goes and connects to is disconnected. So then we're gonna take this end, plug it right in, twist it and lock it in. And then over here, I'm gonna demonstrate a power outage happening. So this right here is called an interlock kit. And the purpose is that you can never have your main power that goes to the grid and this, which goes to our power inlet box on or off simultaneously. One of these will always be on and one will be off. So right now our main is on and our power inlet or generator breaker is off and we'll show you how this works. So if the power was to turn off, we'll simulate it here. This would um, not be having any power coming into these mains, at which point we would slide this up and we would turn on our generator. Now we can't turn this back on even if grid power comes back without turning this off. So now what we're gonna do here is make sure that we press the 240 volt um, option there. I heard some items beeping inside. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so lights are working. Everything works in here. So now we can simply turn any of these circuits on or off depending on what we want to power, what is critically important in our home. And it's as easy as that. Well guys, in my opinion, these are both great backup solutions for your power needs, but taking into consideration the price, the functionality, the aesthetics, I personally gravitate toward the EcoFlow. I just like the looks of it and it fits the bill when it comes to all of my particular needs. But again, this is dependent on what your needs are. I'll make sure and leave links in the video description so you can make sure and get the best deals on these power stations and make an informed decision on which one works best for you. Now, if you wanna see in more detail how I was able to put that power inlet box on my home and get power to any circuit in my home, you can find the full installation video right here, and I'm sure you'll find that one informative. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.